Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use forms and command buttons in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use forms and command buttons in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we want to open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start and go to All Programs and go to Microsoft Office where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. Click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it protects you to a view called as Backstage View. This view is called as Backstage View. By default, the new and blank database option will be selected. So now, I want to change the location of the database. I wish to save the database in a different location. By default, all your work will be saved in a document. I wish to change the location. How? Here you can able to see an icon called as browse icon. You just click the icon. Whenever you click the icon, file new database dialog box will be opened where you can able to navigate through your computer. So click desktop. I'm going to create a new folder in desktop. Let us stay student and open it. Now I'm going to provide a name for database. Let us say student and click OK. In order to create the database, you just click the create icon. Whenever you click the create icon, a database will be generated and by default the table one will be generated. Now I want to design the table. So, just select the table and go to view and design view. And you want to name the table, provide a name. And now, by default, first row, the ID will be a primary key. So, now I'm going to change this as, let us see, student ID. It's going to be number and description is in student ID. And let us say, student name. And it's going to be text and let's say student name and next is going to be student total it's going to be number and is student total okay now I finished so I want to save it and I'm going to close this so now how to create a form okay before creating a form ensure that the table the current table has been selected and go to create tab where you can able to find forms just click on form in order to create it when you click on form you can able to see the form with uh, all the fields like student id student name and student tutor now I wish to go for form design design view so where I can able to edit it okay so now I'm going to add the buttons for example in design tab where you can able to find all the controls so I'm going to use the command button in order to add and delete and save the records click and drag it click the button and drag it so now the command button wizard will be open so now I'm going to choose the record operations first I'm going to add new record add new record next so either you can use the text add record or else you can use the picture and next I'm going to use the picture and next I'm going to insert one more 
button click and same record operation and next one is save record next I'm going to use the picture next finish and next I'm going to add one more button automatically command button wizard will be opened choose the option record operations and let us say undo record next use picture and finish now undo and I'm going to add one more button select drag and drop choose record operation and choose delete click next and choose picture if you wish to add text no problem you can able to add text you can use text but I prefer picture next finish so now I want to add the nav navigation buttons what I have to do I want to add navigation buttons again I want to add command buttons just click here and go to record navigation first and go to first record click next use picture next finish and again one more command button and record navigation and go to last record next use picture next finish and again button and same record navigation and we are going to use next record next use picture next finish and I'm going to add one more button choose record navigation and go to previous next use picture finished now here you can able to see this in design view and this one is layout view and this one is form view you can switch to form view now you can add the records let us say one student name a a a let us say total 100 and save it and I'm going to add once again new to and name PBB let us say total 102 and save it and I'm going to add one more say 3 let us say CCC and 103 and save it and I'm going to add one more for say DDD and let us say 104 and save it and you can use the redo option in order to redo this and you are about to delete a record if you want to short click yes why because you are going to undo this and I'm going to check the first one and last one and last so you can move so first last okay next previous this is how you want to use it if I wish to delete this just click delete in order to delete this now the record has been deleted yes now you check for first and last only two records are there this is how you want to use the command buttons for navigations and for adding your record and deleting your record I think you guys have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching this video thank you